Kurt Center, General Manager of American Legend Aircraft Company. You're rolling out a new airplane this week. Let's hear about it. Sure. We're rolling out the Classic Cub. It's a new model of our aircraft, really targeted at the guy looking for a simple, easy-to-fly airplane. Our target market is the guy who might be interested in buying an old J3 Cub or an old Cub and restoring it. And rather than going out and, and spending thirty-five, forty thousand dollars for an old aircraft and probably spending another forty or fifty or so getting restored, for about the same price, we're offering a simplified version of the Legend Cub, the Classic Cub, that meets about the same price point. So for ninety-four, eight ninety-five here at the show. He can get a brand new aircraft that has the same functionality, if not more, of the J3 Cub, more comfort, more safety, more performance in a brand new aircraft. And it's, is it an airplane that comes off an assembly line? Yes, it is. It's certified SLSA. We build them new, ready to fly. So they come off our factory in Sulphur Springs. And you come down, pick it up, fly it away. You know, you don't have to spend you know, a year or two restoring the aircraft. It's built with uh, all built in America, using Continental engines and materials here from Sulphur Springs. Let's talk about that power plant a little bit because that's one of the most important things to the LSA pilot. What's in the nose? Well, it's a Continental O200A engine. It's a 100 horsepower engine. Uh, it's been around for a long time, very classic engine. It's uh, horizontally posed, air-cooled, direct drive engine, 1800 hour TBO, burns anywhere from four and a half to six gallons an hour, depending on how you fly the aircraft. It's a engine that every a &P out there knows. Everybody knows and loves. It's, like I said, it's been around forever. Talk to us about your, your potential customer. You said it's a person who would have normally gone out and bought a J3 to restore it. Who's been talking with you about this airplane? Well, our customers mainly. Uh, are, you know, the Cub community is a pretty tight community, and we have a lot of Legend Cubs out there, so we have a lot of uh, contacts out there. And people struggle every day of they want something that's simple, and they just don't want to mess with an old airplane. You know, some people do that, and that's fine if they want to work on it all the time, but some guys still want that feel and want to fly a classic airplane. But they just don't want the hassles of an old airplane. Because it is an old airplane, a hassle having an old airplane sometimes. Some people like that project, but some don't. They just want to go out to the hangar, get in their airplane, and fly, and not have to worry about a lot of maintenance. And with a new aircraft, you don't have those maintenance worries. Are you having people that are actually requesting that you give it some of the upgrades, like a glass panel, or are they really looking for the traditional experience? Really not. I mean, that's what we have the Legend Cub for. So, I mean, if they want that, we have the Legend Cub, which has very been popular. We have glass panels. We have autopilots. We have, I mean, anything you'd ever want in an airplane. But that's a different airplane, different market, different buyer. This is the guy who just wants a simple airplane. You know, he just wants airspeed, a tachometer, oil pressure, and that's it. He just wants to look out the window and fly. Talk to us about what it's like to fly the airplane. It's the ultimate of low and slow flying. I mean, you, you can open up the door, the window, you fly around. We, we fly everywhere 500 to 1,000 feet. It's a tail dragger, so, you know, you've got to have a tailwheel endorsement. You know, so it's a little bit more challenging to fly, but it's not difficult to fly. Uh, it's made perfectly for graph strips, sandbars, you know, off airport flying. But, you know, we fly in a Tampa International with it, so it's a very versatile airplane. What does your order book look like? Have you had a lot of interest in people actually plunking down money? Yeah, we have. The show's got off to a great start. So, you know, we're, you know, we've, uh, we're in production. You know, we could deliver aircraft right now probably in the late summer. You know, so we're, we're booked out for a while. And it's, uh, you know, it's been a challenging year for everybody in the industry, but we think it's turning and, you know, we feel pretty good about the economy and where things are going. And I mean, the Cubs has been around forever. It, it was the trainer is trained literally tens, if not hundreds of thousands of pilots. It's a well-known airplane from a flying characteristic. You know, they designed this with paper and pencil back in the 30s. It's just amazing. They didn't have, you know, fancy computers. And they went out and they flew an airplane until they got it right. And amazingly enough, what was appealing to a guy in 1935 or 37, whenever they designed it, is still appealing to the pilot who just wants to go out and fly. And that's what they did. They really focused on an easy flying airplane for, you know, the everyman's airplane. You know, not difficult to fly. Um, you know, good capability, and again, the same thing that drew pilots to it in the mid-30s is what people want to fly today. Aero TV is brought to you by... If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.